Good morning. Hi, welcome to Odessa Rose Creates. I hope you're doing it well today. And um, are you ready to create with chalking? I hope you are in the habit of chalking. <laughs> if you uh, do not know what I'm talking about, I am talking about chalkateur in our reusable silkscreen transfers that we skim over chalk paste or ink products depending on our surface and create our own beautiful DIY home decor and gift items. So uh, let's get started. Today we're going to do, as you probably saw in the description above, uh, just you, me, and the dog or dogs. And that's a cute transfer we have. It's called Just You, Me, and the Dog. Just you and me. But you can put in the dog, dogs, cat, cats, and then there's a couple other fun words. I'll show them to you. I don't think I said my name. I'm Robin Schmidt with Odessa Rose. Hi, Morgan. Okay, so here's just you plus me. And then you can add and the dog and the cat and chocolate and the kids and tacos and then these cute little uh, kind of like uh, symbols down here chocolate taco paw print and a heart right and then there is an s right here so you can make plural for dogs and cats if you want to okay so today the, well, this was kind of designed to go on a 6 by 18. I mean, you could put it on their long 6 by 18 boards. Um, but I'm going to put it on a 9 by 12. And on one side, I'm going to put you, me, and the dogs. And the other side, you, me, and the dog. That way, whoever purchases this can flip it to whatever side if they have more than one dog. Of course, they'll use dogs, and if they just have the one dog, they can just use the dog side. So, um, so how are we going to fit this onto this? You may be asking. We are going to put just you plus me and the dogs, and then under that, before we do that, I'm going to take some of our. These are design posts. Um, I meant to grab it. We have a welcome that goes on like a uh, sign post, like a porch board. And you could change out the O uh, to represent different things or different times of the year or, uh, yeah, seasons or maybe locations as far as a crab goes. But, um, yeah, we're going to use the dog print on here as a backdrop. Right, right in here and then we'll put our words on so let's cut this out first so what's cool about these is that you can use them for different things besides the duck besides the uh, signpost man that is on tight Ugh. goodness So let's cut out the paw print. I'm gonna cut just right down here so they're gonna be easier to get back in the envelope. So say hi if you are watching. Tell me if you have a cat or a dog. Just put dog or dogs in the comment comments or cat or cats. Maybe you just have kids. Maybe you just love the chocolate or the tacos. We do not have a dog now. We used to have a dog for 14 years. Hoover, he was a Welsh Terrier, which is kind of like a miniature Airedale. So we got him in um, 2001, and he lived for 14 years. So while the kids were growing up, we had our little doggy. You know the stories from that dog. 
All right, so we got our little paw print. And like I said, I'm using the box frame, the nine by 12. You can easily put this on the um, six by 18 box frame also. I'm gonna check out my webs, or my website, pff, my Facebook page. And let's see if you can see me today. There I am. Good morning, good morning. So I woke, wake up this morning to my husband coming in saying, I think the refrigerator is no longer working because he got up early and was out there in the control panel and it's an older fridge we moved it here to our new house the control panel he said was blinking and like making noises and stuff so he goes i think i was i don't think the refrigerator is working so i had to haul all the refrigerator stuff down to our lower level refrigerator this morning but that wasn't fun Hey, I'm gonna use grayish or dune. It doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna use grayish for the paw print. And all the lettering will be done in black. So it's gonna be pretty basic. I feel like I keep going off the camera. <laughs> all right, so. I still have, most of my chalk is still the old paste formulas. So uh, I need to add water to this. You have a dog and a cat. Dog and a boy mama. Who else is saying? You have dog or cat or both. Sabrina, hello. Morgan. Dog, dog, dogs and cats. Dogs. Dog. I think, uh, well... Dogs are probably winning, but uh, a lot of people have both. So that's cool. Cats, I don't mind cats outside, I guess. Um, but when I lived on the farm growing up, we had mean outdoor cats. Like they would attack you <laughs> if you opened the door. Apparently maybe they were hungry, but uh, there was plenty around, I'm sure, for them to catch and eat on the farm. But, and of course we gave them scraps, but that's what they always wanted was the scrap food from dinner. And um, yeah, they would, they were mean, mean old farm cats. <laughs> but um, we had a few friendly cats um, when the kids were growing up that were outside. Okay. So I'm going to put the paw print right down here in this area. This board I already have distressed once with a little bit of paint um, for another project. I actually, I think I washed, maybe it was just demoing, I can't remember, but I'm just going to use this. And then, so we're going to put uh, you plus me and the dog and you plus me and the dogs on the other side. So whoever purchases this can choose which side they need to show. So let's put our paw print right about here. I didn't wax, but maybe I, maybe I will put a little bit of wax. I was trying to feel how sticky that transfer is and I probably should fuzz it. I'm not gonna go all the way over to the edge because I'm gonna apply some washi tape along the edge so I can line up my letters left margin. So it's gonna be kind of like a marker. So I put a little bit of wax on there so my transfers pick up easy. And then I'll get out my fuzzing cloth. It's always a good habit to fuzz our new transfers, but especially when they're super sticky. All right, so I'm just gonna put the paw print here. Kind of like he stamped his signature on here. Make sure you have your air pockets out. Everything's flat. I could probably take a small squeegee. And we're just putting grayish on. So it's just gonna be kind of almost like tone on tone. Uh, Cause we want our lettering to show up. 
So any light color, super light color would work like uh, your sage, eucalyptus, uh, the super light blues, but grays or dune looks good on this white. So we have that down there and we're just gonna lift that up. So there's his paw print, okay? So let's dry this. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on this side while I'm at it, before that paste dries in the, uh, before the paste dries in the silk screen. So one side's gonna say you plus me and the dogs, and the other one's gonna say you plus me and the dog. Let's put our paw print on this side, just like we did up there. Don't want to stick the best. And you don't have to press hard, you just Spread it over lightly. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. I had a designer asking me why her um, prints was always like kind of bleeding through a little bit and uh, kind of looks blurry. And we come to figure out she was pressing too hard, forcing that paste to go through. So it was kind of bleeding under a little bit and uh, causing a messy print. So don't push hard. It's super easy to just glide it on. So we have one print on this side and one print on this side. So we want to dry this. And then we're gonna start our words. Let's see my comments again. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, Carleen. Do you do custom orders? Um, depending on what it is, I could do an. I could make something. Sure. As uh, long as I have transfers that will work for it. Okay. So remember, I talked about. Oh my! I just got a paper cut. You know how I talked about left margin. So how can we make sure it's really in line? I'm gonna put a piece of washi tape and I'm trying to decide which width to use and I'm using a really dark or bright color so I can see that washi tape underneath my transfer as we go. So I think I was figuring, let's cut out and the dogs and the dog. And we're gonna need that little extra S to make it plural on the one side. We have in the dog, and we have our little S here. So there's plenty of room if I use the wide, so I'm gonna use the wider, I think. And this is just for placement. I will be picking this back up. Don't worry, it's not going to stay on there. I'll put it right up against the edge. Okay, and that's going to keep us in line on the left. 
on the left margin. So I need just you plus me. I'm gonna fuzz this. put the backer covering up the word you and me just so I don't have to wrestle with it over here so just you trying to decide how high to hang it up just you plus me and the dog so maybe a little bit higher And want the start of the uh, J just to be right near the tape, right? And you do want to make sure that, you know, it's level going across here. And get all the air pockets out. And this we're going to use black, black velvet chalk paste. Yeah, so I had to clean out my refrigerator as I was moving everything to the lower level refrigerator since we think our refrigerator could, went kaput. And you know how you find those old jars of, well, mine was uh, peppers, uh, banana peppers. <laughs> And the went down the uh, garbage disposal. Boy, that smelled up the kitchen a little bit, like like bell peppers. There's just. Make sure it's dry before we go to the next level. Hi, Vicky. How are you? I'm off just a little bit. I, I like. Oh, goodness. Thursday, Thursday. I always have to remind myself what day it is. All right, now we're going to do the U. So I'm going to move my little paper here. Feel more like putting it over the black paste. Okay. Let's not get this on anything. Now we need you. And again, I think I'm using the top edge to line up just underneath the word above it. And then, of course, I'll put the Y right next to the red tape. So keep everything in line. And it appears the S and the U hang down a little bit further than the J and the T, which is interesting. Lined up. Let's do you, and then we'll do plus me and the dogs. Let's 
So we got some great news last night on my leader call. It's going to be in our Chaka Tour newsletter today. That if you were a former designer and you're no longer a designer, in starting May 3rd and for the rest of the month of May, you can sign up to be a designer again for only $19.99. You do not have to buy the kit. You can buy the kit if you want to, which is a good deal because you get... Uh, you know, like $250, $260 worth of product for $99. But you can just join up for um, $19.99 and start your uh, designership up again. Uh, and you don't have to wait the three months or, or um, to sign up. If you just drop your designership and you decided, oh, why did I do that? You can go ahead and sign up. You do, I believe, have to still wait the six months if you're going to change who your mentor is going to be, who you sign up under. So, if you were a designer at one time, and it's been over six months, you can sign up, of course, under anybody. And I definitely invite you to sign up under me. I don't put any pressure on my team members. How they want to run their business is their business. So, if you're interested in that, um, May third I believe is when that starts and you can join up again for $19.99 you just don't get the kit but you can buy the kit if you want to buy the kit <laughs> so there's a lot of benefits of being a designer all right now we need the plus me And I'm going to bring that over to the left of where our tape is. Just shy of it. Now we're going to start to be going right over the paw print, which is the plan. Sometimes I like to sand that down because you can feel the edge of it and it may have a little bit of a rise if you're going over another print. Um, but I think we'll be all right. Just make sure it's nice and tight around it. So there's just you plus me, and now we're gonna put and the dogs. Okay, it's right underneath the paw print. It's gonna be cute. Come and try. It'll look a lot better when we take off that red tape. <laughs> saying hi someone's saying hi hi to Talis talisa i hope i say that right i love that stripe down the side yeah isn't that beautiful it's going to be going gone that's just a uh, placement tape so i know my left margin i'm gonna put just a little bit of wax over the paw print it lifted up a little bit so let's just take that off or put on some wax and the dogs here we are then i'm going to be doing if you're just joining then i'm going to do the other side and put just you plus me and the dog that way my customer can choose which side they want the sign to be. Maybe they start out with one dog and then they get another dog. 
and then they have to just turn the sign over. Maybe. Maybe. Right? So, right next to my margin, let's get this nice and level. are going to add that S. So we may have to be buying a new refrigerator. I mean, I don't know if it's repairable or not. I think once the computer board goes out, they're kind of expensive to fix. Maybe, I could be wrong. Do, do, do. Let's take this off. I'll put it on the other side. If I can get it. And then when that will dry the dog and we'll put the S on. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on this side. And I'll probably go ahead and wash my transfers before I do this other side. So I might do that after we go off the live. Okay. So that kept our margin. It's really cute. Let's dry it and we'll put the S on. You know, this also comes with a little paw here or a heart that, you know, you could put on here. I might put another, actually be cute if you had cat and dogs because the big one could be a dog and this could be a cat paw print. Like if you said, and the dog and the cats <laughs> and you could put little paw, kitten paw print. Um uh, with the dog, I think would be cute. Now, if you're just doing cats, I think this could be a cat print too. Am I, am I correct, all you cat lovers out there? This could be a cat or a dog paw. Let me know. But this, wouldn't it be cute if you did just you, me, and the dog, and the cats, and then you put some of these also on here? Especially randomly, like, you know how you find cat prints everywhere? That would be cute. Are you with me? Are you with me? You know what I mean? Your refrigerator went out right before Thanksgiving last year. Very expensive to fit if it's the compressor. You know, I thought things still felt pretty cold for being off for a couple, uh, maybe, well, we don't know how long it was off, three hours or so. But I didn't, when I was unloading it, um, you know, with the doors open, I didn't hear it kick on like it, you know, you think it would. So I'm thinking that it probably is history. I'm just going to line up my S up and down. Let's see, you want to put that. That's how I want it. You want to put that tail of that G into your S so it looks like a continual line. So put the tail of the G into the line of the S so it looks smooth and consistent cursive. You, me, and the dog. Pretty basic, pretty simple, right? And even beforehand, if you wanted to do another paw print up here, you could. But I just did the one. But that would be cute to have two. I don't know. Just kind of random. But isn't that cute? Yeah. It's 
a little high, maybe. Like, it's a little higher up than here. But you got the dog paw print down here. Or you could put a heart. I think I'm going to leave it plain. But you could put some hearts on it. Or I don't know. Whatever you want. But I like the simple, the simpleness of it. So I'm going to wash the transfers. And I'm going to put just you, me, and the dog on this side. So they can choose between dog or dogs. Okay? All right. So... I'm going to have to go wash you, so I'm going to say goodbye. Let me see if we have any more, uh, anything else to say here. Cute, I need to do one for my cat. Yes, you do, Carlene. So, the paw print. It can be, yes, the paws all over would be adorable. Can I use the paw print for cats and dogs? Yeah, two paw prints on the dogs and one on the dog side. But it's too late, too late now. I already put dogs but it's cute just with the one paw print. Two paw prints on the dog. Okay. All right. Happy chalking, everybody. And um, tomorrow's Friday. We may be going to Junk Stock with my daughter. It's a huge vendor um, junk market type place outdoor. It's a big thing here in Omaha. And they have them several times a year. And I believe the spring one, she said, starts tomorrow. So we may be going to that. So I may not be able to do my live. But I'll get this done on both sides, photograph it, and I will chop with you later. Bye!